here's the bumper there's a lot of imperfections I'm not done yet I'm still working around it so I'm right now I'm gonna go around and show you guys all the little knickknacks whatever but uh, maybe from here you can't really tell but you know what right there see all that y'all probably like what the fuck did you do but you know I ain't tripping the next time I get a new rap I'm gonna do it good so y'all can be happy but uh yeah here I lay down the inlay cause I'm gonna throw another piece on top as you can see here you know I seen a lot of videos out there on how to do them but they didn't really give that much like details they didn't really go that much into the details actually so uh, yeah I'm about to lay another another piece here and then you know make it look pretty here at least this I was gonna do a whole big piece here but you know I got tired so I just like fuck it just threw a fucking big ass piece over the cutouts I did under it <laughs> but you know from far away you can't really tell you know pictures you won't really see it this came out pretty good yeah see how there's like little wrinkles here those are those are hard to get off so if you guys are like professionals and you guys are viewing this or something give me some tips to uh, get these off probably you guys will help out so comment down below but yeah here's the bumper I just wanted to show you guys and uh, I'll show you guys when it's on the car so here's the results guys my bumper is finally finished in pieces though who check that out a whole big difference right here super insane I'm not even gonna zoom in cuz you're gonna see my fuck-ups but <laughs> this shit looks so good Ooh, candy ice red baby paradox wraps check that out Damn. I need to put my side markers in though. But man, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that little pink spot right there though. I kind of heated it up too much right there. I was trying to take out a wrinkle and, you know, yes, I did a mistake. So, whew, she looks so good. Alright, I'm going to continue with the video because I ain't trying to kill you guys with any headaches. But yeah, bumper is done. Alright, so next up is this whole quarter panel right here. I'm going to be wrapping today. Well, I'm going to try to finish it today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically I'm about to... I'm going to cut, cut enough for the two doors. But... um. Today I'm just going to do this whole pillar here, all this, and then it's going to go like wide here for this back quarter panel. So I have to uh, take out this tail light here. It's only, it's only like three bolts. Let's see if I can, yeah, there's one there, I already, already took it off. One up there and then one like over here, yeah, right there. So yeah, let's get to it. see that big old chunk man my heart is beating fast right now <laughs> Woo. my goodness so yeah I'm about to get the cutting right now I already did the big big ass cut that I need to do y'all can see that shit all right so I just got done cutting the whole piece here I got my side skirt up here BAM I got this whole little panel here, hella long. And I just got done cutting the doors here, the piece for the doors. Yeah, don't mind this, this is gonna get cut. And um, so I gotta come over here and slice this here. So yeah, let me get back for you guys can see a full view. 
you can see that top one right there is for my side scare at the bottom. I'm gonna get some aftermarket ones. Some aftermarket ones, sorry. And um, yeah, they're gonna be Duraflex because you know they're hella cheap, yo. And I don't mind cutting. I got a drum mill now. A drum mill now. My bad. And yeah, here's the top pillar thing here. This little thing here. And then yeah, here's the doors. That big old piece. Now I just gotta slice it up in the middle like I just said. And yeah. Yo, I gotta show you guys some real quick. Check out that red just reflecting off to the ground. Schmexy, yo. Straight out schmexy. All right, so today I'm gonna work on the on the doors today. I'm gonna see if I can get both of them done, but I know I'm gonna get stuck on this one for some reason because of this here. Yeah, so what I'm gonna have to try to do is, you know, cut from right down here, like behind this door handle right here, because this blue part right here, I want it to be red, so. So for now, I'm gonna leave the door handle here silver for now to like wrap them like black or I don't know maybe I should do them red not sure then down here I'm gonna throw another piece down here yeah I'm gonna have to cut probably like up here that way I don't have to you know I, I just want this whole little piece here blue I mean uh, red my bad and then yeah that way it looks decent I guess cuz I don't want no blue showing so the car is like midnight blue. I don't know. People, whoever painted this car did did a shitty job. I already took off the mirror here. It took a while. <laughs> but I got it though. Like I said, I live and I learn, right? All right, I'm going to get to rapping. So make sure to leave this video. All right, let's roll.
so here is the door it's finally done now we gotta work on this door but yes check that out guys she came out good my cutting is not the best honestly you know so I tried it's like little knickknacks around here but um I don't know I probably gotta put that tuck that more in but um yeah here she is the first door of the car another thing you guys want to do if you're like me and just and this is your first time you want to keep your scraps because you're gonna need <laughs> you're gonna need like a little spot you want to cover where you messed up or something so yeah make sure you guys keep your little scrap pieces because you're gonna need them so I'm on the other side guys man this is a crazy process the other side is done but I'll show you guys later but anyways I'm about to work on the passenger rear passenger door here because you know I guess it's faster but I already did all my cutting I didn't show it on the video sorry for the win if you can hear it but yes make sure to um, follow me on Instagram J underscore 350 GT make sure y'all do that sorry for the lights kind of dark but a quick little uh, tip for you guys that are beginning like me there's a lot of shit that you're gonna have to take off man you guys probably seen in the other I think was it part two part three I don't even remember but anyways yeah I just want to let you guys know there's a lot of shit you guys gotta take off like all the fucking weather trim stuff down here oh, I can't zoom in cuz this lighting sucks but uh, yeah and make sure you guys clean all this like all the edges of the door with alcohol. Little tip for y'all from a beginner to another beginner. So it is the next day, so today I'm gonna try to finish as much as I can. As you can see here, I'm about to do the quarter panel. And this whole thing here, this little panel here. And then I'm going to do this door. I got to take off this mirror. And then right now, what I'm doing is I'm loosening in. I'm loosening the bumper. On the G35, there's like three bolts. So you can see that black bolt right there. There's three of those. One right there, one like right here. One like right there kind of. And in between the wire and that plastic thing gotta remove those to um to loosen up the bumper for you could tuck in your wrap see here but yeah right here this one when i tuck in the wrap so i gotta loosen up the bumper here so let's get to it guys so here i got my friend shelby he stopped by to help out a little bit so since me i don't have a steady hand like that he's over here cutting the mud flap guard whatever as you can see I should have took them off, but I didn't. But uh, yeah, guys, make sure if, you, if this is your first time, make sure you guys get a friend to help you out. It makes the process faster. So yeah, little tip. I. Right. So I just got done blasting out everything. I just got done putting that whole big old side of the panel, the little long panel right there across. Right now I'm about to get to the cutting. I'm not gonna record it. I'll record it after I'm done because you guys know how it is already. So I'm about to cut out this gas cap. See how it comes out. All right, stay put. So we are finally almost done with the bumper. We didn't get that much footage of us doing it, but uh, so far, this is where we at. My man Shelby over here putting in that work, tucking in and shit. And look at this, one light. Two light, uh, three light, four light. <laughs> yep, we almost there. We'll, we'll show the results once we get it all nice and done here. So bear with us. So here's the bumper. This shit took forever. Yes, it was pretty hard. Had a good friend of mine come over and help me. Well, actually, he just popped up out of nowhere, and I was like, hey. Want to help? He gave me a hand. Shout out to you, Shelby. But um, yeah, there's there's a couple of imperfections here. As you can see that we had to cut it here because 
I don't know what happened, but it was my mistake. I don't know. I pulled a certain way, and yeah. So we had to like did like do all kinds of cutting here. And yeah, this is separate. This piece here and this piece separate here. So, anyways, yeah, this is the finished product. I had to remove my lights, and uh, yeah, this is this is a nasty ass wrinkle down here. I'm gonna cover that with the sticker. I don't care. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get a Nismo lip for it too. Nismo rear lip. That's that's just the stock lip right there. But um, yeah. Other than that. Check that out. Hey yo, it's your boy the Feeling Beats. Get at me for this one.